Hi, I'm Tripwire. I've spent nearly 800 hours in Borderlands 2 already, but I figured a few more couldn't hurt. I'm jumping on the Borderlands 3 hype train and I'm gonna do it all. Level a fresh character, do every mission, complete challenges, and farm legendaries. This is Borderlands 2 Easy. Hello and welcome back to Borderlands 2 Easy with me, Tripwire. Thank you so much for returning. We are here at the start of Thousand Cuts. We are going to kill some dudes, do some things, complete some objectives. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to go meet up with an important character from Borderlands 1. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't even see him there. Alright, I forgot about the boozards. Again, I'm still quite overleveled, so this should all be fine. So far, I've only had one person, and I keep saying so far. I've only had the one video go up so far that I've seen comments of. But... Oh, that was the named enemy. That was Muscles. But uh, I've only had one person comment on the grenade mod at all, and that person said they don't care, as long as I'm having fun. Um... Pretty sure that's going to be most people's take, which I appreciate. Oh, hello there. Where the fuck did you come from? Nice. Um, I forgot I have Scooter's mission active as well, so I might actually backtrack a little bit here. And I'm just going to let this guy down me because it's going to happen from one or the other. Quit backtracking, you penis. You slippery penis. God, I hate the enemy AI in this game compared to one backtracking is unacceptable. Alright, cool. I'm going to backtrack a little bit to get a couple things I need to for, um, for Scooter's mission. Although, actually, one of them is right here. Whoa, what was that lag, dude? Okay. This, uh, gravestone. Oop. What a grand poem it shall be. All right, let me switch to that mission. Yeah, there's two things right down here I can grab. And then I think we're free to just continue with the story. So how are you guys doing on this fine day that it's not the same day for you as it is for me, but it is a fine day for me right now. How are you doing on this fine Thursday, May 9th, that it no longer is? All right, cool. I trust you, Scooter. Okay. And if you're worried about us not being able to hear Scooter's poem because he said he won't read it to us, don't you worry. We will hear him read it to the person it's for. I'm blanking on who that is now. Oh, I think her name is I think her name is Daisy. Hey, there's a safe back here. I don't know if I ever knew that. Thank you for the $76. Oh man, I can't wait to go be a cowboy after this. It's weird, like I just couldn't get into Red Dead 2 the first time I played it, but this time like I don't know, something about it. Just don't want to stop. I don't think I've ever looted this either. How many times have I run through here in my life? So many. All right, gotta loot everything. Wouldn't be doing my job right if I didn't. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's... All right, Lab King. I was about to share a thought, but. So it's just over four months, I think, to the release of Borderlands 3. Um, because it is May 9th, so four months and four days, I suppose. I think we'll make some pretty decent progress in four months, but again, like, doing every challenge takes a long time. Farming every legendary is a very, like, 
extremely, actually, ambitious thing to do. Um, I won't... I don't think I'll be farming for perfect rolls of everything. Like, for example, I've never once gotten a sham drop in my life. And when I do, odds are it won't be a 94% sham, which is what you want. But I'm not going to let that keep me at the bunker, you know. A sham drop will be enough for me. It doesn't matter what percentage it rolls at. So I'm not going for perfect drops, but I am going for one of each legendary drop eventually. That's going to take a stupid long time. I have no idea. Like, I have no concept of how long I should expect it to take, so I can't predict it for you guys, but... There's not really any way I can complete the series before 3 comes out. Which is why I felt the need to clarify that I won't abandon it when that does happen. That buzzard is so far away to be shooting at me. Alright, here it comes. Bye bye! Please die. Okay. Cool. The shotgun is quite strong. I like it. I like this shoot gun. Oh my god, can we chill with the buzzards, dude? Oh, it's a badass, even. Beat. I didn't see what challenge that was. You could stop flying away and clipping through mountains. That'd be great. Uh-oh. My god, it's so unpredictable. <laughs> what is with this buzzard in particular? It's flying, like, in ways that the other ones tend not to. It seems like. There we go. Fuck you. Hey, look, and I didn't even lose the drop to the abyss. Neat. Death for you. Death for you. Delivery of death. Alright, we're gonna come down here and do the mission for Face McShooty real quick. This is a pretty interesting mission. NPC named Face McShooty. Objective, shoot Face McShooty in his face. Okay. That's the whole mission. And uh, if you've never done that before, you will get an achievement for it. So, do that mission. What's down here? A little undiscovered thing on the map. Oh, okay. The thing went away. Without me discovering anything. Oh damn, I'm so close to a level up. Probably would have happened a long time ago if I was actually killing stuff my own level. That's okay. I do wish I could run the physics and the high quality recording at the same time because I do love the way that fabric reacts when you shoot it, uh, when you have the physics engine turned on. It's one of those things. I'm still so curious what the recommended specs are going to be for Borderlands 3, because it looks really nice. It looks so much smoother than 2. And 2, with any, like, you know, decent computer, you can run it quite well, but I'm hoping that 3 will be the same way, because my computer is not future-proof by any means. Come on down, guys. This is one of those times when this grenade mod is like... You can't actually... It doesn't get any better than this grenade mod for this type of encounter. Level 25. Another point in money shot. Hey there, badass. Hey there, badass. Bye. Sometimes the enemies will bug and get stuck up top during this encounter. Looks like we might have one already. Hello? Not out back, right? Oh, up top. It's a regular bandit, too. That's pretty rare. A lot of the time it's like a goliath. Um, again, I should just, I should just grenade this dude. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh! Is he coming forward? There we go. Get down here, you little shit. All right, next wave. Some of you might have already figured out who the Slab King is, or you, if you've played this before, you already know. But this is supposed to be like the first, maybe not the first, but a, a plot twist moment 
for new players. Next. Next. Oh, there we go. I just spawn out of the ether. Next. Oh, I should have been meleeing these guys. Missed opportunity. I was like, where am I being shot from? Come on down. Oh, I missed the second shot very badly. Destroyed. Yeah, this is what I'm used to, is a Goliath staying up there. Oh, he's actually coming down. What a cooperative little dude. What a cooperative large dude. Alright, here we go. This is when people who have played one so what you want. and are playing two for the first time get introduced to one of the original Vault Hunters from Borderlands 1. So it's supposed to be like a pretty cool moment for the first time players. Like, holy shit, it's Brick. I remember him. He's so cool. What's he doing here? And then this guy spawns after. You get a sarcastic slab slow clapping for you. What's with this fast walk? I've never let him walk around for this long, and also I wonder if he starts the fast walk when if you like hurt him but don't kill him. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if he'll just do laps or. I pretty much never let him live, like this. I think he just does laps. Okay. Here's your note. So anyway, while we're waiting for him to talk, we can go up here now that this door is open. And you can loop around and... What the fu- I've never seen anything spawn in this room. That was crazy. One-armed bandits are rare enough as it is, and I've never had to fight anything after clearing the, uh, the slab waves there. <laughs> That's so weird. Kind of scared me a little bit. But you can loop her up, up around here and loot a chest, so that's what we're gonna do. I'll see if these things up here and dropped anything cool. Didn't look like it, but... No, just a green. There's that loot crate, though. Okay. Eh. <sighs> Keeping an eye out for upgrades, but haven't found any in a while. Maybe eventually we'll get a, uh, a level upgrade for Three Horns Valley and we can get another Herald. Open it out. I got shit to do. Open the door. One thing I'm actually kind of looking forward to with the new keyboard is that it'll be less clicky and obnoxious. Uh, like, I'm obviously used to this one, but the clicking is quite loud. And the switches on the Corsair are uh, Cherry MX Browns, I believe, and they should be a lot quieter, which will be kind of nice. I think it's going to be one of those things where I have to spend a few days adjusting. Uh, I don't know if you guys experience this like I do, but I'm very used to my home keyboard, obviously. So when I'm typing on a keyboard anywhere else, my fingers aren't used to the feel of the keys or like the positioning or the spacing, so I tend to fuck up typing a lot more when I'm not at home. And I think that's gonna happen at first, you know, like it would any time you switch keyboards. I think I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes typing when I first make the adjustment, just because the keys are gonna be different size, different shape, they're gonna be uh, spaced differently. So I'm probably gonna like fat finger some stuff. But I think once I make the adjustment, I'll be happier overall with the Corsair feel. I think. I hope. I really hope. 
Something about new electronics, man. Like, I don't know. I don't do a lot of shopping for stuff that isn't electronics, you know? Like, you shop for clothes or whatever, but that's not that exciting. Something about shopping for electronics has always been super fun to me. Opening a new electronic, getting a new games console, getting a new computer, getting a new phone, anything like that has just always been like one of my favorite things ever since I was a kid. I don't know if you get reduced XP if Brick's the one who gets the kill. I think it. I think so, but you do still get a little bit, which is cool. I'm gonna continue on. That one left up there. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Watch out for the dangerous explosives falling from the- Oh, loot midget. Hello. I missed. I missed again. I can't fucking see because these rounds are explosive and they keep blocking my view. Hey, 50 badass rank. Nice. Oh god, where am I going? Oh god, I missed. Oh no, that's 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 brick, right? He's not moving. Why aren't you? I'm not moving. I'm stuck. I don't know why he wasn't running on his own. Nothing was stopping him. You got it, dude. All right. I said this toward the beginning of the series, but I'm going to say it again. If you haven't played Tales from the Borderlands, I definitely recommend you do so. At least before September. Not only are Telltale games fun, and not only is it more Borderlands, but it's actually a very well-crafted story. Um, they're not very, like, engaging as far as games go. If you've played Telltale games before, you know what I'm talking about. Just because... It's mostly like an episodic show that you're watching, where occasionally you have to do a quick time event. And more than occasionally you have to make dialogue choices to make the characters talk to each other, and... It's one of those things where, like, you know, the characters will like you or not like you, depending on how you treat them. So, as far as gameplay goes, there's not a lot of it, but... If you like Borderlands as much as I do, you'll find it very interesting. And again, the events that transpire in, the, uh, not the pre-sequel, in um, Tales are canon, so they will affect what you see in Borderlands 3. Alright, cool. So in playthrough 1, it's just the one badass loader for that final mortar. It's so easy. In true and ultimate Vault Hunter mode, that can get a little dicey. Alright. Alright. Alright, we're done. Okay, back to Sanctuary, where we get to hear Scooter's poem. Uh, let's do that. I'm surprised there's no indicator on the mini-map for turning that one in. Maybe there would be if I selected it. I don't know. I don't. Kind of wondering what loadout I'm gonna roll with uh, once I've achieved max. Lo where am I going? <laughs> what am I doing? I know wh where things are in Sanctuary. I've spent enough time here. I don't. I don't know what my problem is, man. No iridium. Nah. There's also another achievement you can get uh, by. Claiming a gun from an NPC called Michael Mamoril or Marmoril. And he's, he can be in one of several locations around Sanctuary. Let's take a look around for him. Um, there's only, like, he does, he's not always in Sanctuary, but there's set locations where he can be. And all you gotta do for the achievement is just talk to him and he'll give you a gun. So we'll look for him in a minute. Just find Daisy and play for her. Gotta wait for her reaction, though, you hear me? I sure. No probalo. Um, also, I when I was designing the outro for the series, I looked up Claptrap dancing gifs on Google, because I wanted to have that little thing at the end. And while looking up dancing gifs for Claptrap, I came across a gif of Claptrap, like a pixel art, adorable pixel art Claptrap, 
standing next to a box of uh, a stack of pizza boxes from his birthday party and crying. There was this fucking gif of like a little pixel art claptrap with a bunch of pizza boxes that nobody's eating because nobody showed up for his party. And then just like a single tear falls from his robot eye and it's just like, that's not at all what I wanted. I wanted him dancing and happy and this is awful and makes me sad. All right, here you go, Daisy. Where'd you get that gun, Daisy? What are you gonna do? Yikes. What does it say? Death. Death by bullets. That what it says. Alright, let's turn that shit in. Clearly, uh, Daisy did not like the poem, but... Steve and I were actually questioning this the other day, or the other week, I suppose. How much does Scooter know about what Daisy just did? Do we tell him? See, his reaction kind of indicates that he doesn't know she just fucking murdered herself, you know? It, it seems to indicate that we told him she didn't like it, but not the extent to which she didn't like it. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take a look around. Uh, Michael does not walk around, I don't think. I don't think he moves. He just happens to be in one spot or another uh, when you load up the game. And uh, back when I was achievement hunting, I looked up all the locations where Michael can spawn, uh, but I've forgotten where some of those are. So we're just going to take a slow cruise around Sanctuary and try to find him. Uh, okay, now oh, these are the guys that played darts with knives. If you stand right here. <laughs> Ouch, my left eye. All right. So yeah, since I can't remember where he can and can't appear, we're just going to have to check every little nook and cranny. Um, and of course, when you look at him, his name will appear, so you'll know you got the right guy. Johnny Waffles is one of my favorite NPCs in this game. I don't think he serves any purpose other than to be mean to Claptrap. But I like him. Actually, can I, I can get another one, yeah? Uh, we'll do... I've only got 14. We'll do sniper. There we go. Okay. Interesting that the uh, marshal stays here for the rest of the game, even though you did his job for him, and then he's got no reason to be here anymore. All right, it's just a citizen. I don't, I don't know that um, Michael can be down here, but. Not sure. Got to cover all the bases. The first place I ever got the achievement on Xbox was down in Scooter's Garage, which is why I was reminded of his existence when I was down there. Uh, he can also be in the uh, the Crimson Raider HQ over here. Let's take a look. Yeah, 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 Marcus. Okay, so sometimes he's right there. Clearly not now. Iridium pickup. Uh, I don't know that he'd be upstairs. I think he's he's gonna be here. He might only be downstairs kind of guy. It's possible that he's just not here right now. Um, although I'm sure I'm forgetting another spot. Hey there, guys. Last, to be honest. I got no idea how to get past a door that'll only open for Jack. Sorry to interrupt, but we have little time. Get to the city of opportunity. To breach the final door. Ah, uh, yes, chambers, opportunity. You'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a <gasps> password in his voice. I want a table. Whoa. Kind of like slung me away from it. I want a table like this. It's so cool. As much as I hate telling you to listen to her, Angel's the best lead we got. You already know not to trust her, but. Hey! 
So now, of course, we can grab some more side missions as we've progressed the main story. So let's go do so. Pick these things up. I might go back to the Circle of Slaughter before we go to Opportunity, because there's like four different missions to do in Opportunity. Oh fuck, is it the minute we get to pick up the Bane mission? Yep, the Bane. You want my camera, huh? Yep. You can borrow it on one condition. Anything you shoot better involve naked flesh or explosions. Bonus points for both. You got it. Give me that boob camera. Um Moxie looked decidedly a little different in the trailer for Borderlands 3, as far as I remember. Kind of surprising. Alright, so we've got... Th I thought there were supposed to be four missions on Opportunity. Oh, I think you pick up one or two when you get there, actually. That's right. And we've gotten a lot of these in the last couple of episodes. Uh, I'll do melee damage. And then... Uh, we've also got Rocco's Modern Strife. Yeah, we can do that first. You got it. Thousand Cuts is also where you have to go to access Terramorphous the Invincible, who was the first raid boss launched with the base game. So... Rocco's Modern Strife is an interesting mission. Obviously, it's a reference to an old cartoon, Rocco's Modern Life. Um, but while this mission is active, there will be no hostile enemies in Thousand Cuts anymore. As you can see, I'm walking around where I was before, and nothing's shooting me. Nothing's even spawning. And uh, as long as you keep this mission active, that'll be the case. Which is interesting because Brick specifically says, we're on, a, on the same team now, but my dudes are stupid and they'll still attack you. Except, and that's true, except when uh, this mission is active. But yeah, you access Terramorphous' lair from a little cavern below a thousand cuts. It requires a sacrifice of Iridium to open the gate. But you'll recoup, if you kill uh, Terramorphous successfully, of course, you'll recoup that Iridium very quickly. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Just landed in our turf instead of Jack's. Jack wants to destroy the supplies. Boing. So we can use Boing. Them. You've got us. All right, stop. up here. Take Rocco's flags. So it's just like a tower defense quest, I think, here now. Grab these beacons. I marked some key defense points. Drop a flag on any of them, and my slabs will know where they gotta go and what kind of firepower they gotta bring. So this is a mission that has given me a hard time in later playthroughs, actually, because you're defending things that are being shot at that have a certain amount of health, I believe, and of course with other playthroughs scaling, uh, it can be tough to kill the enemies dealing the damage before they deal enough to kill them. But on playthrough one, it should be fine. Should. Now get up to the big ass turn on the central tower. You got it, Brick. Here we go. So now the Goliaths and shit are on our side. Man, this gun is not quiet, is it? Not a quiet gun. You know, guns aren't known for being quiet, but like... I mean, it's exceptionally not quiet. You gotta look out for RPG loaders during this section because RPG loaders are pretty much the only type of loader that can really fuck you up on this turret because they have explosive attacks and they can be very laser accurate. So, there's a gun loader back there. Ah, uh, the Goliath got all mad and now he's not on our team anymore. Yeah, most of the time, if you get dethroned, so to speak, it's because you got hit by an RPG loader's attacks. Doesn't this sound so nice in your ears? It sounds really nice in mine. Sheesh. I'm just gonna let events transpire. I'm just gonna let the Goliath go to town. Whatever. This is fine. I can practice my esports commentary. 
And he punches the ground. And he runs. He punches some stuff. He hits a he hits a robot. I, I think I'm ready to be an announcer, actually. I'm really good at this. Natural born talent. All right, cool. Yep. Leveled up again. We're gonna go ahead and kill him now. Nice. Almost a thousand XP. Good shit. Okay, so the turret way is the easy way. Rushing in and actually using your guns, I think, is the more fun way. Here's the RPG litters I was talking about. Um, be careful, though, because, like I said, you have to defend the shit that you planted. And so the loaders are walking right past us, and they're heading up the hill to try to take out those beacons. So you need to defend them. And as this mission progresses, they start spawning closer and closer, see, so like here, to the beacons. So you got to really stay on top of it, stay ahead of them in order to successfully complete this mission. They can catch you off guard when all of a sudden there's badasses spawning right up the hill here, as you can see. And because that means they're already kind of close to what they're trying to destroy. And it's, it's just, it's dangerous, you know? Knock it off, dude. Knock it off. I'm gonna go down, maybe. Maybe not. Give me that health. Shoot the arms off. Shoot the arms off. All good. I keep forgetting I have this gun. I just don't like it that much. There we go. I got no experience for that kill. What are you talking about? Pretty sure. Okay, so, success. Once I'm done with this mission, things in Thousand Cuts will start being hostile again. So, do we get to find out what was in here? Or do we not? He even has that voice line about, like, let's see what they were... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, fuck, I didn't talk to Marcus about the Bane. <laughs> There's a good handful of quests that have a step like that to get you going. Grab an item from Moxie, grab an item from whatever. Miss that. Is that shotgun an upgrade? Oops. Is that shotgun an upgrade or nah? Only in fire rate and accuracy. Nah. nah. Not any better, really. Okay. We're going to go have a little chat with Marcus, and then I think we're going to head back to the fridge, and then uh, next episode we'll pick up with the Circle of Slaughter. I would like to finish that up. And I actually I haven't talked about this at all, but I do have the Headhunter packs. I guess I'll do those each once as well, like the DLCs I was talking about earlier. I kind of forgot that those existed. Um, they're pretty short. Holy crap, that was... Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> hey, Marcus. I knew I hadn't heard the last of the gun. I bought it off a guy a few months ago. Great gun, but... It's, it's so funny. Jen recently so played through Borderlands 2 for the first time, and <laughs> I would occasionally get really cute texts from her about, you know, things happening in the game, asking for advice, and uh, stuff like that. And one day I just randomly got a text from her that said, The Bane gun is so annoying. <laughs> Or, or no, also, she didn't realize that it screamed. And I got a text from her saying that the Bane, the first time she started using the Bane, it scared the crap out of her. And, um, I'm a good boyfriend, so I thought that was very funny. Alright, here we is in the circle of slaughter. What level is this round? Round 3, level 24. We'll go ahead and try it. I don't know how well this is going to go. I don't even have a fire weapon or anything like that, but we'll, we'll try it once before I cut the episode here. It's only 34 minutes long so far. We'll see if I can complete it. Um, I'm not a whole lot stronger than last time I was here. But I'm a little bit stronger. See how it goes. Um, I've got full grenades, so that's good. Those are my most important tool. We're going to blow this fucking thing up again, because I don't want it here. 
Hey, free white. Free white items. Okay, cool. Here we go. Here we go. We got some rats. Luckily, they are weak to being exploded with fire. <laughs> As most of us probably would be. Oh, come on with the grenades, dude. That's just tasteless. Where's your class? I mean, I use grenades as a crutch, but at least I'm classy about it, right? Right. It's cool actually getting like a decent amount of XP for kills all of a sudden. This is this is refreshing, to be quite honest with you. Okay, I'm taking some serious damage, and I'm very close in proximity to a bunch of explosives, so I need to back up a little bit here. Right, I'm going to drop down. I don't really want to use my gun zerking at the moment. I kind of want to hang on to it for when I'm in dire straits, which I no doubt will be by the end of this round. It's just going to happen, right? Got a couple of, uh, okay, lab rats. I think this calls for a grenade. Easy. Oh, I forgot to get melee too. Okay, wave one complete. That was nice and easy. Good so far. What we got? Grenade. Cool. I'll grab that health vial. Okay. Nice. Boop. Oh, I missed. Would have been cool though. Okay. Where's the other one? Fuck. The elite marauders, if you couldn't tell by their name, have a bit more health than the regular marauder. I'm trying to play it a little bit safer than I did last time I was here. I don't want to have to fuck around and attempt these waves multiple times. Nice kill. The uh, melee crit. These are killer marauders, not as strong as elite marauders. But invincible to bullets that don't hit them, as you just saw by me shooting into a barrier and not his body. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Alright. Oh, who's behind me? Field rats, keep in mind, are relatively strong. Tunnel rats are not. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop. Okay. I think that was a good use of gun zerk. Better than going down. Got a lot of enemies on the field right now. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of that. Now that we're fighting in this general area. And wave two is lasting a while. Spawn enemies above me. Alright, you can go and run wild and kill other people for all I care. You're gonna be my little helper. You're gonna be my big helper, I mean. Large helper. I got a Costa Goliath. Who's down here? Another cost of Goliath. We don't need this many Goliaths running around. We'll kill this one. Did that just say shield? We just got a shield called shield, and it is a, a, a total upgrade for me. What the fuck? That's... Hello? hello? I didn't tell you to swap it out. I told you to compare the two. Pair. There we go. So, better in every way, except that it doesn't have any bonuses on it. Okay, so it's actually not better, because um, the max health increase outweighs the capacity difference. We're going to stick with this one for now, but that's so silly. It's just called shield. Basic, basic item. 
Alright, we're gonna help out our little buddy a little bit. Weaken this. Oh, well. Here you go, bud. Level him up again. You can do it. Kick his ass. Yeah, nice. Good job. Oh, actually, I don't know if it's gonna spawn any more enemies until this guy dies. Kind of seems like it's not going to, so. Looks like it is come time for us to part ways, my dude. Oh, goodness. I did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Would. Would? Can't. Can't words. There we go. Love how he says you're at the midpoint. Two out of three is not halfway. It's more, it's more than that, actually. Not everybody's a mathematician like myself, but pretty sure. Nice. Gear 4 challenge. The money shot with this shotgun combined is like really, really good. <laughs> Pretty nice. I don't remember how many circles of slaughter rounds there are. Is it three or is it five? Because I think it's I think it's three in Borderlands One. It might be five here. We haven't seen a single buzzard, and that says to me that we're not done yet after this one, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't think I can reliably do two more waves of this at my current level with my current guns. We'll see. Well, I got one grenade on me at the moment. We're gonna save it. Ow. Okay. All right, chill. Cool. Cool. That goes. Yeah, no, this can't be the last round. Unless we start seeing some buzzards. I shouldn't have used that. I don't know why I did that. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Those suicide psychos can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. And even if you are careful, if you stand close to them. That explosive gas tank makes me nervous. Nice, dude. We're completing a lot of challenges. Day. Oh my god, hello. Okay, I picked up more grenades. Cool, cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, you didn't die. Alright, now you're dead. Got some rats. Okay. by Goliath, and what's left? Oh, just you? Cool. Yeah, that definitely was not the last round. <laughs> but that means there's two more. A little on the unfortunate side. Well, I'm certainly not going to be getting to any more this episode, because we're pushing the 45-minute mark. Oh, we'll turn this bad boy in. Yeah. I think we'll turn this bad boy in and uh, do the same thing we were doing with the natural selection and exit, which is to revisit it later. Take a look through our pickups. No, no. And no. Alright. That's going to do it for this episode. I think next episode we're going to be paying a visit to, well, one of these two locations. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you join me for the next one. And if you do, I will see you then. Goodbye.